It is now Fashion Week 2023, but we got some new December leaks as well. I wanna go ahead and um, let's go ahead and run through them and see how we feel about these upcoming leaks for December. So from looking at these leaks, it starts from December 3rd. It looks like we have a Hisui Samurai Raid Day. Pretty interesting. Hisui and Samurai looks pretty cool. A little different from the regular Samurai. It looks like December 4th. Routes event featuring not NPCs on routes. So I'm hearing about a lot about these NPCs. About just like random, like, you know, those like, um, from the main stories games, the Pokemon uh, random trainers. I guess those might be making an appearance on routes. So, I mean, I guess they're trying to amp up routes, make them look more fun. It's a good start. And December 9th, a catch mastery event featuring shiny cryogonal. So, that's pretty cool. Cryogonal doesn't really pop up too much, only during the holidays, like around Christmas and whatnot. And actually, this is actually very, very exciting to me. I did not play the first Kanto Tour, but it looks like we will have a Kanto Tour Classic. It's a little small global event. I am down for that. I still need a lot of Kanto shiny Pokemon. And it looks like December 18th, Winter Holiday Part 1 featuring Weird Ear Raid Day. Interesting from the Hisuian Weird Ear. And it looks like December 25th, a part two of the holiday event, and it looks like it might feature shiny Vanillaite, but other leaks did inform us that Vanillaite might be the January calm day. Not sure, but either or still pretty interesting for that. And it looks like for uh, tier five raids, looks like we'll, we might have Reshiram, Zekrom, and Kiram. I guess Richie Gigas back, but Mega Raids, um, nothing too fun, nothing too amazing. That's too exciting for Mega Raids, but Scizor, Altaria, Glade, and Obama Snow. But where is Mega Absol? Mega Absol just popped up 2021 once, and we haven't seen that since. But let me in the comments down below what do you guys think about these leaks. I think I'm more excited about the Cancel Tour Classic because that's kind of a, um, I think that's kind of a big deal though. But guys, let me know what you think about these leaks. And now for Fashion Week 2023 bonuses. It looks like select avatar items will be on sale. Two items catch candy and uh, increase XL chance for bonuses. Eh, it's all right. <laughs> And for our wild spawns, we have the Pikachu wearing the summer style, and the Diglett again, the new Wooper, and then Krogunk again. Gothita, new shiny, would like that. Frillish is back. Frufro still need a shiny Frufro. And Marini. <laughs> oh, and also Absol and the male Frillish might be popping up as well in the wild. And I guess for eggs, 5k eggs, we will have all shiny eligible. We have the Pichu. The Fashionable Whooper, Smoochum, Gothita, and Shinx will be in eggs 5Ks, and it says Gothita will have a higher chance of being shiny. I don't believe that. The last few events, we hatched eggs. Nothing too great. No shiny luck for us. But honestly, that's about it for Fashion Week, but also I do want to talk about the Dapper Dragonite, the Drippin' Dragonite. We have a new shiny Dragonite popping up. I think everyone wants to go after that, but the little downside is that it's only in three star raids. Gonna try to do my five remote raids, try to see if we can get a shiny Dragonite and let's see how that goes. But other than this event, pretty eh. But we'll see how that goes. We'll see how the shiny hunt goes. Fashionable Whooper, you know, he's got the beanie, you know, a little, little gangster over here. But also, if you guys are interested in field research tasks, if you want to catch five Pokemon, you get the Blitzel. Catch 10, you get a Whooper and Curlia. Catch 15, Butterfree. And then take a snapshot of your buddy is Diglett. Take snapshots of seven different wild type Pokemon is Shinx. And then snapshot of Absol Frillish is 1000 XP and 1000 Stardust. But look what we have here. A lot of good Pokemon right now. We have a Gothita check, not shiny. And you would tell with the eyes. I think the eyes are like pink, pinkish. Let's check the Frillishes, not the first one. Second one, how does this look? Not shiny. And the last Frillish over here, female, not shiny. Pretty cool we have a phantom over here. 
please be shiny. Of course not. And male frillish is not shiny as well. Was that a frill over there? That is a um, it's an absol absol and not shiny, but sunglasses. And also for our collection challenge, we do have to catch. Okay, we got the Ditto, we got the Wooper, got the Absol. Still looking for the Pikachu and the Krogunk. And it looks like we do have the Gothia Cock already. And it looks like we will get 1000 XP, 5000 Stardust, and an encounter with something. But I think we do have. There's no. There's no time research over here? That's so weak. I thought we had a time research. So is it the one that you have to pay for, I think it looks like? <sighs> that is so lame, because I thought we got a Dragonite uh, encounter. Or is that from this? Let's go ahead and finish this real quick. Let's see what we can get from that. But man, I was looking forward to a free timed research. Hey, hey, we got a Dragonite over here. Yes, let's go, dude. Hop in, use our free pass. Nice. Let's get some invites out and check and see if we could get a shiny Dragonite on the first raid. First Dragonite down and not shiny, 2089. Oh my god, been wanting this shiny for a while and we finally got it. Shiny Swirlix, dude, over here. 105, dude. Finally wanted this Pokemon, dude. Finally. Oh my god, been wanting this Swirlix. Been seeing every Swirlix and checking them. That was a critical catch on the shiny Swirlix. Dude, finally. <laughs> and now to complete this collection challenge, let's go ahead and grab the Stardust XP. Who is this? There's the Dragonite. Not shiny, but a 1571 on this one. All right, another Dragonite down. Remote rated. We have a not shiny 2114 and here are our first two event eggs boosted gothita are in these but i don't have good luck ever in eggs smooch them and ooh, speaking of shiny shinx dude what but why didn't it sparkle though what the heck dude shiny shinx with a hat though that is sick but why aren't they like sparkling when they come out of eggs I saw JT's last video and he hatched a shiny Morlol, but it did not sparkle with the effect. That's kind of weird. But I'm down with the shiny Shinx though. Dude, <laughs> just talking about our uh, our shiny luck from eggs was not great. And we just hatched a shiny Shinx with the hat. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. It's more eggs, three of them, two 5Ks, one 2K, and the first is a Gothita, not shiny. You can tell by the eyes are shiny. Another Gothita, very nice. No pink eyes, and then a 2K. Eh, from Mantis. <laughs> Another drippy Dragonite down. Can we get a Barf Green Dripper? Not it, in a 2116. And last 5k is going to be Gothita, not shiny. And since we didn't get many shinies today, nothing too crazy to evolve. We have a whole Cranidos family over here. Let's get our first shiny Rampardos, but let's do, eh, let's do this one right here. To our shiny Rampardos. Bam, oh yeah, Shiny Rampardos is a beast. I love this shiny. I would like the Shundo, but <laughs> the odds of that are very low and we got the Shiny Rampardos. Decent IVs. But I really hope you guys did enjoy that video. Let me in the comments down below what you guys are searching for for this event. We do have the Shiny Gothita debuting and we do have the costumed Drippin' Dragonite Shiny debut as well. But nothing too else exciting, I guess. I mean, eggs are cool. Hatched a few eggs. Got that shiny shinx. Was pretty cool. Didn't get that gothita. Still gonna search for it. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Drop a thumbs up. And hope to catch you guys in the next one. Later, y'all.